find the coordinate coordinates find the coordinates of two points two minimums of the curve y equal to 2x raised to 4 minus 36 x squared plus 18 so here one thing is very clear that there are two minimums so I don't know what is the shape of the graph I will uh, will draw that once we find the coordinates okay so what are we given so we have got y equal uh, 2x to the power 4 minus 36 x squared plus 18 and we should know dy by dx at minimums is 0 so this is these are two or this is the only thing that you need to know or this knowledge you should have that dy by dx is 0 at maximum or minimum okay so you have to just differentiate this so let's differentiate this so well dy by dx of this function is going to be 2 times 4 is 8x cubed minus 36 times 2 is 72x and that I'm going to set equal to 0 because I want to find the minimum okay so what can you factor out well I can factor out 8x and then you have got x squared minus 9 okay so this is so we can say 8x is equal to 0 or x squared minus 9 equal to 0 so x is going to be 0 and here you can say x squared is going to be 9. Now if x squared is 9, this is where most of the students do mistake, x is not only 9, it is plus or minus square root of 9, which is plus or minus 3. Plus or minus 3. So you've got three uh, turning points. Okay, so this we don't know what's the maximum minimum so let's find the coordinate so that and then of course we are going to make up a table so when x is 0 y is going to be if x is 0 what this is 18 sorry I should have written 18 here yeah. so when x is 0 y is going to be 18 okay and when x is minus so I'll show this I know already know the answer when x is 3, y is minus 144. You can get this on a calculator. And when x is negative 3, y is again minus 144. So these two are the minimum, but you'll have to show the math. So let me further you the coordinates. So if you just enter the table menu, 2x to the power 4 minus 36 x squared plus 18 let's go from minus 3 to plus 3 at minus 3 you have got minus 40 144 the gradient is 0 that's confirmed at 0 it's got 18 so that's the maximum and when you go to 3 you got again minus 144 so I can draw the sketch of the graph the sketch of the graph would look somewhat like this not drawn to scale so basically this point is minus 3 comma 144 this point is 3 comma 144 let me scroll it to this side this is also 3 comma 144 and this point is 0 comma 18 so let's check this on a calculator and then so go to graph go to graph and we already already have got the equation here we have to adjust the scale because I have to go up to minus 144 so shift F3 I'll go from minus 5 to plus 5 and on y-axis I need I'll go from minus 150 
on y maximum I'll go up to 1 plus 150 at a scale of 50 or yeah 50 would do and so this is a graph okay so you go g sol minimum minus 3 minus 145 and if you press this replay key you'll get 3 uh, 1 3 comma uh, minus 144 and then go g sol maximum okay but now how to do the match you'll have to do the calculus so make up a table of x y dy by dx and I'll write the nature okay so we know uh, so you'll have to go slightly to the uh, so you have to go to minus 4 minus 3 uh, minus 2 and then I'll go from 2 3 and 4 so uh, y value is not important so yeah okay so we know at minus at minus 4 the gra uh, y value is 144 the gradient is going to be 0 yeah okay the gradient okay I'm not worried I'm not interested in this the gradient is going to be positive yeah and the gradient is going to be negative yeah and okay so okay so let me write okay so let me bring up the table so let's go back to the table and I'll have to set from minus y so secured let's go from minus 4 to plus 4 so at minus 4 you got minus 46 and what's the gradient is minus 224 minus 224 so the gradient is negative you got a negative gradient zero gradient and then you're going to get a a positive gradient at minus 2 you're getting a positive gradient and the y value at minus 2 is 80 no minus 94 80 minus 94 80 and then you got a positive gradient that means this is minimum same way you can do for the other 2 3 and 4 here again the same feature would be you got a negative you will be have a negative gradient zero gradient and a positive gradient so this is also the minimum 